and I'm still trying to get back on my regular schedule. So uh, I thought I'd take it easy on myself and hopefully give you guys a really cool treat because as of last Friday, Outlander has been out for 10 years. Yeah, 10 year anniversary as of last Friday, which is why I meant to put this out over the weekend, but um, I slept. So I do apologize for that. However, I really think that we ought to celebrate because it seems like, um, well, everybody is. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to us! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 10 years! And a very, very special thank you and congratulations to our fans who have been with us through thick and thin, uh, time travel, love, death, births, marriages. We're so grateful that you've stuck with us and given us all your love and support. Thank you. Beautifully. Good way to get started. I think this one is shared by Outlander Stars and three others. Outlander Stars says Outlander has never been just a show. It's a passion project. It's a family for our cast and crew. It's a close knit community of fans that led with their hearts and inspire with their passions. I think that's supposed to be lead with their hearts and inspire with their passion. Today on the 10th anniversary, we just want to say thank you for coming along on this epic ride. We can't wait for you to see what's still to come and yeah so still to come november 22nd is uh, season seven part b and then who knows when we're getting blood of our blood and then season eight <sighs> yeah still lots to come and uh, it's so great to see these guys all together although i do i want to point out it looks like sophie and john and uh, Charles are, are out of costume. So uh, this is just a gathering. And of course, Meryl is standing there next to Caitlin O'Ryan. Caitlin, uh, not Caitlin, I'm so sorry. <laughs> next to Izzy uh, is uh, next there to Meryl, sorry. Uh, and I can't really tell if she is out of her costume as well. But they're all celebrating. We should celebrate. I might I might have an extra dram tonight. Who knows? <laughs> and so to celebrate this 10th anniversary, we're going to do a lot of look backs. I've got another message from Meryl or two messages from Meryl. Lots of behind the scenes and uh, even a fun TikTok clip. Yeah, yeah, he's back at it. Uh, John Bell has a TikTok out, which I'm going to have to replace the music. But I think even with me messing with the music, you'll get the gist. <laughs> So let's go and have a great behind the scenes episode with some fun messages and uh, let's get started with a ride in the way, 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 way back machine. <laughs> this is shared by Outlander forever. Happy 10th anniversary to my favorite TV show, Outlander. It's unimaginable that I've been traveling in this wonderful world for eight years now. What we've been able to experience during this time, I would also like to thank you all. Thank you for all your support and the love we share for Outlander. I love our family. Here is the trailer for season one. Now, I can't, I can't share the trailer, but check out this picture here. August 9th, 2014, Outlander. Uh, I mean, that's a great little picture. So this is obviously, this is what when they're filming, I want to say, just before she's shown how to use a dirk. But um, yeah, this is uh, this is very cool. And continuing with some behind the scenes, this one shared by Balf Nation. Uh, Balf Nation says Meryl Davis on the premiere episode of Outlander's Sassanek. Our first shot of that episode was Claire in the scene where she comes out after treating the soldiers and the war is over and she drinks the champagne. That was literally our first scene that we shot from that episode. We took a picture of the clapboard and all kind of looked around and felt like, oh, this is the start of something special. I didn't know it was going to be this special. I didn't know it would be this many years. That was my first memory of it. And that's uh, from Reddit, uh, Night Merrill, and at Katrina Balf. Lots of hashtags pertaining to Katrina, to Claire, to Outlander. And yeah, that's a, that's a great shot. <laughs> it was a memorable flashback and uh, helpful to kind of help us understand where Claire came from. So uh, yeah, really cool. And there we have an image of, of the clapper. Although, yeah, the clapper seems to be in pieces. <laughs> At least the part that says uh, uh, the Outlander. A2, episode 101, uh, 4C, 1A. Lots of little codes to let the people who are making the show know what it is they're working on at the moment. But uh, that is a fantastic image. Man, it must take the actors back seriously 
seeing something like that, you know? Now here is a host of images. It looks like, oh boy, it looks like we got about a dozen or so, which is why I wanted to do this all in one uh, video for you guys. Outlander Online shares throwback to some behind the scenes of Outlander season four. I'm kind of jumping here, but uh, you know, I'm working with what I got today. <laughs> and what we've got though is, uh, what's that? It's Matthew and Richard and, and they're, they're, they're out of time looking at, well, I guess it's the right time for Richard. <laughs> I don't think that cell phone belongs in the 70s. Or is it early 60s? It's the 60s. What am I talking about? All right. Yeah, yeah. Getting some direction. Young Ian there. Fantastic. I just, I get a kick out of these behind the scenes images. I hope you do too. Because there's a lot. Oh, yeah. Fancy, pretty dress. Goodness gracious. I just, I feel so bad for the corset wearing folks. Because <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, we have bunny ears. Very common in uh, the, the late 1700s. It's all over the place. If bunny ears, very cool, very cool here. Uh, yeah, we're at the we're at the gathering. Duh. I'm looking at. I was like, why is Sophie wearing a tartan uh, skirt like that? Well, it's because they're at the gathering and everyone dressed appropriately. <laughs> That just makes me laugh. I think that Jamie needed an umbrella. I mean, tell me that it's not a great picture. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, looking out into, probably again, getting direction, but these are great pictures. And uh, again, feel bad for the corset wearing folks, but she looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, I don't know what they're looking at. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. Jacasa Maria is very, very cool. I, I love her character in the show way more than the books. I'll be honest with you there. Uh, but I do. Uh, I, I, gosh, she's been so fun to watch. And I will have some pictures in an upcoming video about the uh, Fergus Festival because we had both our Jacosta and our Marta there. So I'm definitely going to share some images there. That <laughs> for some reason that looks appropriate. Uh, yeah. So this has got to be when Brianna sees her uh, father as she has already gone back in time. And there's Frank just sort of watching her travel, which uh, oddly seems appropriate. And yep. Same time here. We've got uh, probably about to meet our dad or da, I should say. Uh, and uh, fluffing up the, the fur collar. Got to get that looking just right, right? Oh, and Cheeky Caesar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, love Fergus's story. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. He, he's looking cheeky at the camera. I'm just going to move on because I just want to say cheeky things right back at him. Oh, I like this picture. This is fun. Okay. And we're all just chilling out together. Just, you know, hanging in the woods like we do. Again, what? Taking direction or at least going over our lines. What's going on in the next scene? Uh, you know what's funny, too? I find a lot of these, even though I complain about the corsets for the women, they, everybody looks fairly comfortable. Maybe they're, they're just that great at acting, uh, with the exception of some of the behind the scenes when Claire is uh, truly made out for the wedding, for oh, in that red gown. Yeah, some of those seemed a little off to me. But when you have to have a golf cart to take you from one place to another because your costume is so <laughs> uncomfortable and unwieldy as a garment, in real life, um, yeah, they're they they. I think I'm gonna go with their really great actors who can make it look like they're comfortable because he looks very comfortable. All right, ah, yeah, there's a good one. <laughs> I I said Caitlin before because I was thinking of Caitlin, but um, no, this is Lizzie, not Izzy or Caitlin. And yeah, if you want to, please this count as take a drink because I foobarred earlier. So two drinks, go team. Um, <laughs> we're having a good time. I I I adore. Marta as he gets older, but can I just say that Duncan always just looks cheery and happy and I kind of just want to hang out with him. I'm very excited that I hopefully get to meet him at the gathering, uh, but this is a great picture and kind of says everything about the personality of these two actors, really. Oh, see, and there we go. Katrina, Claire getting all prettified to look very regal. She always looks perfect and I know that takes a lot of work off camera so big props to the crew who helped Katrina look like Claire is always just in perfect order truly okay and now we're having a laugh that's great and a drink and I'm not sure what is that Sophie I no, that's not Sophie too much gear here another redhead and I don't know what I don't know what they're I I don't know what they're doing, but at least it seems to be tickling John and the people in the back are uh, mingling, mingling. Oh, and of course, yeah. So this is where 
uh, Brianna's about to go and confront Stephen Bonnet in jail. And uh, really, really a good scene. You know, John is nothing. Obviously, he's a gentleman, but he's a, nothing if he's not a great friend to all of the Frasers in time. And uh, this was a really, a very cool moment, I think, between these two characters. Of There's already an understanding, but I think he grows to really respect the kind of person Brianna simply is. Okay, um, can I just say Dogface is looking a little cheerier than he probably ought to be under the circumstances, but <laughs> this is a great behind-the-scenes picture, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I, I enjoyed the mohawk from the introduction, honestly. Um, I'm kind of glad at some point they got along, because there were no happy times between Roger <laughs> <laughs> and this looks like our last one Caesar getting his uh prosthetic put on in the right spot getting his uh jacket all buttoned which probably is trickier for him with the prosthetic so that makes perfect sense nice final picture season four apparently had some laughter behind the cameras because there wasn't a whole lot going on in front of the cameras uh as far as laughter goes lots of happening in front of the cameras just uh not a lot of happiness what was a stressful one good times i enjoyed this little collection thank you outlander online for collecting these sharing them and giving me permission to share them you always get credit and hopefully everybody who actually took the pictures as uh, says it was an our site archives from outlander stars so credit where credit's due thank you outlander stars for putting these up in the first place but i am just going to keep on going here because there's just so many stars take the lead it's hard to believe it's been 10 years of outlander stars cheers to the most glorious cast and crew and so we've got our first image with Adso, and I will have more Adso coming up uh, with Adso and then Claire and Jamie. Obviously, not the real names. Don't tell anybody because, you know, it's a secret. Uh, <laughs> but we've got them all on uh, the, the set here. Let's see what's next. Oh, yeah. See, these are some good throwbacks. So these are going to be uh, mixed in from, it looks like, all of the seasons. Let's see here. I love, I always love the green screen pictures because it makes me think I could do something funny with that if I really wanted to. I think I have done that. Oh, and here we go. Yes, hi, Diana Gabaldon, our mistress of, of storytelling, the queen of Outlander herself. I don't know what other titles we may give her, but I, she deserves all of them because this has been a fantastic ride and we couldn't take it if it weren't for her. So, and she looks fabulous too. I mean, she got to play in an episode that is fantastic and uh, to get all dressed up. Although again, feel bad for the corset word, folks. Oh, that's a sweet one. Was Is this is this Travis? I know there was a particular uh, animal in the beginning that they just, you know, went all heart for. Is it Travis? That is Travis. That's Travis the horse. And uh, oh, you know what? I had something else to show you guys, but I think we'll wait for a minute. Uh, yeah, so one of our pu uh, one of our pups. It's not a pup. One of our horses here, beloved. This one uh, does not have. I don't see any way of telling which one it is, but that, I mean that tells you right there that picture the the relationship that the actors had to have with the animals on on set as well. It's very I don't know eye opening and yet sweet. Probably both. And laughter in the rain. Um, Yeah, see, I was going to show you, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to show you, but I will probably put a card in here somewhere. You need to check out the 10th anniversary YouTube live. I use live in quotes because I don't think it was really all that live, but it was a lot of talk about what it was like these, these, when they first started 10 years ago. And one thing that was uh, repeated was poor Katrina. Uh, all the guys are covered in wool and poor Katrina is just wearing that shift for the whole first episode worth of, of shooting here. Uh, on the back of a horse, in the rain, in the cold. Get on if you do it like that. Now there we are. That lovely shift that I wore for about a month you straight. Look, you look very wet. I mean, I bet you she was quite frankly very grateful that the scene called for her to be wrapped around in a tartan because otherwise she'd be extra chilly, had what, heating pads or, or heating bags? What do you call them? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> wrapped around her just to give her some solace in the chill and uh, yeah, very cool. Um, very, very cold. And I will link that somewhere around here so that you guys can get a direct link because it is very much worth watching even if it is pre-recorded. Um, oh, okay, so here we've got the wedding. Oh, and Jamie's sitting on, on, on one of the, I don't know what it's called, but he's sitting up high on a boat, which seems like a bad plan if you're the main actor. So I, I, I wonder if it's lower to the ground. I need to find some pictures to see if it's actually lower to the ground, if he was wearing a harness, or if Sam was just having one of those days where he goes, you know what? Screw the rules. 
I'm going to go hang out and, you know, climb. Now, as promised, we have some ads so for you. Outlander Online shared these. I'm two days late, but happy International Cat Day. Uh, and so, of course, we have some kitty cat pictures. And Adso is just the furriest, sweetest little looking kitty. I mean, come on. Next to my kitty, of course. My kitty, Oreo, is, is a deer and we love her. Um, but Adso is soft and little and gray and is just a little kitten in here. So, of course, we just love him. Oh, he looks ferocious. I'm quite frightened. Are you frightened? I'm I'm scared of the evil kitty. Not evil, but you know, ferocious. Now, 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 stealthily hiding in the dark, waiting for enemies to approach and defend his, the home. Yes. Or, you know, just waiting for cuddles, <laughs> which I think would make more sense, quite frankly. Okay. The, the, so Adso's purpose was to um, keep any uh, mice, any rodents, any, any issues with Claire's medical supplies, you know, free of problems yeah again rodents and uh really just became this beloved pet i did love that scene when they're leaving in the beginning of season seven uh and and claire finds adso to say goodbye after the fire um very sweet scene i wonder if they will include adso when they come back if they come back i should stop getting ahead of myself next pictures okay another one where they put a dozen on here outlander online thank you so much throwback to some behind the scenes from outlander season five this time swipe through there are 20 photos goodness gracious all right let's get started here we've got sam getting all uh, dignified and Jamie-fied, I suppose. Oh, well, I mean, need I say more? The sunglasses just totally make the outfit, really. And a happy family on our way to the stones, on our way back to the, from the stones, on our way back from the stones, I'm thinking. Oh, there's the wedding. Wonderful way to start season five, too. I really enjoyed the wedding, and I loved her dress. I had a white dress with embroidered flowers on it, too. It was really pretty. And that's just lovely. Thank you. You can, At least they've got the little red bottle down here. You can see the little red bottle of fake, uh, fake blood here. And uh, yeah, thank you, Lauren, for displaying your gruesomeness. <laughs> At least she's hitting a tick a lot of it, too. Again, these two are so great together. I cannot wait to get them back in season eight. I've appreciated their little adventure of growing up together, honestly, because let's face it, when Fergus and Marsley got married, they were both kids and um, maybe matured in some ways, but just they've been goofing away a lot of times during life. And uh, out of the two of them, I think Marsley has grown up and, you know, Fergus will get there, right? <laughs> Oh, another good one. I love it when the umbrellas come out, whenever they sort of throw in, you know, our plastic water bottle and our uh, umbrella that is commonly used in mid to late 1700s. See them everywhere. It's totally normal. Up, oh, Caitlin giving a smile again. Uh, the bonnets too. The bonnets. I could not, I could not bonnet. I mean, I can, I don't even like a cap too often anymore these days. I do like the tri-point hats that the gentlemen get to wear though. I, I think those are kind of nifty. I think if you tip them up, got your hair poofed out, a I think it would be a great look honestly i i don't i think yeah okay i think sam should be given a fan more often <laughs> ah marta becoming the silvery foxy is there uh yeah duncan <laughs> duncan does talk a little bit too in that uh i want to say that it's, it's alive but it's not really live it looks pre-recorded to me i'm gonna stop complaining about it but he does talk about how he became the silver fox and yeah uh, uh, can I just say that I thought he looked better as the, as the silver fox than as the younger? Maybe it was because they cleaned him up more regularly. <laughs> okay, and so we've got... <laughs> Well, now that seems wrong. It's got to be one of the doubles because we got the twins, except for there, the twins. It's just Paul <laughs> and Richard. Oh, and everybody's smiling and enjoying it in themselves. I, I didn't know they knew they were looking at their reunion photos, or well, not reunion photos, anniversary photos for their 10 years. But, you know, they're just on set. And then seems to be a cheery place to be. That's what I'm thinking we need to do. We just need to all go to the Outlander set so we can have a laugh with the cats. <laughs> it's, Sophie's enjoying it too. Oh, we're, we're getting down to business now. We're down to the taking direction thing. See, when they do the poses like this and somebody's talking, they look serious. I very much feel like they're at work. Yep. See, like this one too. All right. So going over our lines and that's a pretty big speech he's about to make. That's a poignant. So yeah, I would, I think I would go over everything one more time before we started as well just to just to make sure you have the feel the right attitude the right words all that comes together and just an incredible ending to to this yeah it's just really very cool oh we're back to smiling that's good <laughs> 
I know I like it that they're serious about the work. I really do. And and I hope that they get as much enjoyment out, out of accomplishing a scene um, going the right way, the way they'd wanted, as we do when we watch it. But I like to see that they're at least having fun and it isn't all serious. It's, you should love your job. There should be joy. There should be, you know, smiles and laughter. So this makes me happy as well. <laughs> all right. And working with the youngsters. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's been said that having the kids on set brings a new and fun challenge. Well, I think we're getting the fun here. Um, Someone back there, one of the crew looks a little befuddled, confused. He's scratching his head. But I got to say, I think Lauren can take him. I really do. Okay, now everybody's looking serious again. And um, Jamie looks a little confused. Well, I should say Sam probably because behind the scenes. Sam looks a little confused. Is it just me or does Sam look either, uh, I don't know, leery? Not leery, leery or confused. Yeah, um, I hope things are going to go all right. <laughs> and we're down to our last photo. Wouldn't you know it's Sam, but I'm not done with this video. It just happens to be Sam here. Uh, in this last image, again, probably going over where he's supposed to stand, what he's supposed to say, all the things that make those scenes just freaking awesome. All right, so uh, I had to take the music out, but this one is shared by John Hunter Bell, and this is Wait for the Drop 7B, that is Outlander Stars. And then uh, if John Bell has a million fans, then I'm one of them. If John Bell has one fan, then I'm that one. If John Bell has no fans, that means I'm dead. And uh, yeah, I kind of feel that same way here. That one was uh, put in by Outlander Stars. But he's back on TikTok. He's having fun. If you have not checked out his TikTok, Please do if you do TikTok. I personally don't. This one was shared by Han Junter Bell on his Instagram as well. But I'm, I'm on bet money he made it on TikTok. What do you think? And one last post. This one is originally from Instagram, but was shared on Twitter. And I'm going to recenter just real quick. All right. This one, if you saw a second ago, was from Night Merrill, which is Merrill Davis. Uh, as we are approaching our final block of Outlander, I'm trying very hard to enjoy every moment and document as many memories as I can. Today, we had our final prop show and tell, which is a meeting where the props department lays out all of the significant props for the episodes in the block and we all make sure everything looks and works like what we've discussed during prep. Oh, that's a very smart thing to do. I made everyone take a selfie in the props warehouse. Yes, after eight seasons, we have enough props to fill a warehouse. That is not surprising. We've seen the warehouse uh, between the furniture and and the shields and the tartans. and the. Well, no, I don't know if the tartans would be, but you know what I mean. There would be so many different things. I filled houses and, and cabins and boats and yeah, there's going to be some stuff. That is a fun picture. You know what? We don't see the behind the scenes faces nearly as much. And it is very cool to be able to, at least for a moment, acknowledge all of the people who uh, put in work in different details in different ways to these shows so just a big thank you to you guys thank you so much Meryl for sharing this and that is my 10th anniversary review behind the scenes I might do more later it depends on what other pictures come out um, I tried to stick with the ones that were shared by people that I generally share on here because you know they work hard to give us content and I want to make sure that they get a little note on here as well um, I have not been at this for 10 years again I just did my what two year anniversary Anniversary a couple of months ago. So although I've been with the show since season two, yeah, um, yeah, it, it's it's incredible to me that it's been on for a decade. Um, it's incredible to me that it took me two years to find it. Uh, but that it's been this amazing adventure, this incredible actors, incredible crew, everybody who has put time and effort into this show should pat themselves on the back. And that, of course, would include Diana Gabaldon, who without her amazing imagination and her desire to watch a classic episode of Doctor Who, we would not have this amazing show to watch, these amazing books to read so just thank you to everybody who has put time and effort into this show now that is everything i have for this this 10th anniversary i can't even say this and uh, my talking isn't working just be some fun gag stuff at the end here Heesh. while i haven't been a fan for 10 years i definitely have become a super fan in the past eight five seven somewhere in there and um i hope that you've enjoyed the updates to kind of keep us going through drought lander this one in particular it was kind of fun just to go through behind the scenes because there's so many i will have more news and information and a post from stars and from not not stars but from our stars of this show coming up in later videos uh please do make sure you check Check out that live 
reunion. I still think most of it was pre-recorded. They just aired it live, but that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think below. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to my members. Thank you so much for your continuing support. I just, I appreciate it so much. And I know I say it a lot. I don't really know what else to do other than eventually, hopefully give you a little special gift for being that. We're working on that now. If you haven't had your say as to what I should give to patrons, to members, to uh, people I meet up at the gathering and other conventions, hopefully eventually, um, let me know below. I think that our votes so far are a mug, a scarf or bandana. I personally enjoy the idea of a pin, trying to stay away from t-shirts because varying sizes makes it complicated. So let me know below which, which do you think would work or do you have a different idea because I'm open to other options. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you enjoy this channel and the weird format in which I decide to put things out, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next video comes out. And until then, don't forget to watch entirely too much Outlander. Read entirely too many books about Outlander. You can store John. Really think we need to come out with a Master Raymond series. I mean, come on, Diana. Uh, <laughs> I know she doesn't have time. And if you haven't got enough Droughtlander content, it's just killing you waiting for more stuff. Please do check out any of my other Outlander videos on here. There's also Star Trek. But whatever you choose, there's one thing you can be sure of. I'll see you there. Once again, I just hope things work. It was a, a memorable flash, a memorable flashback. When you have to have a golf court, when you have to have a get, do 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 take two. Lots of little codes to let the people making the movie or. Are...